Welcome to Twisted Brush Pro Studio. In this tutorial you will learn how to create text with the Art Pro Text Brushes. The Pro Text Brushes allow you to paint your text strings as if they were paint. All the brushes in the Art Pro Text Brush Art Set follow the same general usage. The Pro Text Brush is a universal text brush. To start, enter your text string here. Click the font button to select font, font style and size. The size selected only represents the size of the internal font used. When you paint your text the size is determined by the brush size so any size selected here will work. However, the larger size you select, the better quality when using large brush sizes. Press the OK button when done. Press the Build button. This will build the text string into clip images so that they can be painted with. This must be done after entering or changing any text and after making any font changes. When using the Pro Text Bushes, you must select the brush tool and not the text tool. Click and drag on the canvas to paint your text just as you would with any brush. Each Pro Text brush has different brush control options which will apply effects on the text string. More brush controls can be added from the Add Brush Controls button. The spacing brush control will define the space between the letters. The directional rotate control determines if your brush will rotate when changing the direction during painting. As this is a brush, you can use the Rotate Brush tool or the Rotate Brush modifier to set the rotation degree. The once repeat option controls if the string will be painted just once or another string will be painted after the first is done. The shadow distance checkbox and slider add and control the size of the text shadow. With this slider you can control the 3D level of the text. This option must be used together with the shadow distance option. The color cycle speed is used for multicolor text. When this option is checked, all four colors from the color bar will be used, and the slider controls how fast the colors will be changed. The color variance slider will add a slight texture effect to your string. Now Let's have a look at the other Art Pro Text brushes. The Pro Text Soft Shadow Brush will add a soft shadow to your text. You can control the shadow size with this slider. 
and add a 3D effect from here. The Pro Text Glow Brush will add a glow to your text. You can control the glow shading, size and opacity with these sliders. To use the Pro Pattern Text Brush, choose a pattern from this button. The pattern scale can be controlled with this slider. The Pro Clip Pattern Text Brush is also a pattern brush but instead of setting the texture with a brush control button, it takes it from the clipboard. Open the image you want to use as a texture. Press Ctrl plus C on your keyboard or select the Copy Page option from the Edit menu. Go back to your working page and start painting. With this brush you can also use saved clips to set the texture. Toggle the clips panel. Click on the clip, and start painting. The Pro Seamless Text Brush will place multiple symmetrical copies of your text on the canvas. You can set the number of copies for the X and Y axes here. The Pro Cloner Text Brush is a texture brush where the texture is defined by the image data, also called a cloning source. To set the clone source origin, press the Ctrl key and click on the image. The use of this brush is based on the cloning from an absolute offset position technique included in Twisted Brush Pro Studio. This means that each stroke will begin from the cloning source origin. The texture can be used even if your cloning source is placed on an invisible layer. To clear the cloning source select Clear Clone Offset from the page menu. The Pro Eraser Text Brush will clean the image data from the canvas. Set the once, repeat slider to the maximum value for full erasing capability. Or set it to the minimum value if you want to clear just a small part of the letter surface for a special effect. The Pro Text Filter Brush will apply a filter to your text string. Click on the Filter button and select a filter from the menu. With the Preview option you can see how the text will look after applying the filter and if necessary, to make adjustments. Click the Set Brush Image Filter when you are ready. Paint your text on the canvas.
The next four brushes in the art set are similar to the text brushes we have reviewed in this tutorial, but they have a built-in shaded effect. The text painted with them has a 3D look which you can tune with the brush controls here.